Kim and I make these videos. I talk and jibber jabber, and he films. And apparently, been cataloging these uh, bloopers. He calls them. I didn't know there was any bloopers. Uh, maybe I say something dumb, and he doesn't put it in a video. He, he's he's got some of these, and he wants to make a uh, an actual uh, little montage of those. Maybe we'll get a giggle out of it. Hi, my name is Tim Olgeen. I'm usually the one behind the camera. We all love Paul. He has taught us a lot. The thing about Paul is he's really good on camera. He rarely makes any mistakes. Here are a few um, outtakes and deleted scenes we have collected over the years. We also have some Paulism, some wise sayings of Paul. Make mistake. Oh, I did. Hey, you, you, you got it. it. I, I got it. it backwards. Darn it. Hang on. <laughs> oh, I can't flip. Oh, well, yeah. People make mistakes. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking. What I was thinking of is that these two guys are waiting for me, and uh, yeah. performance anxiety. I think got me. In, uh, whatever. What's that? Look at that. That oh, was beautiful. That's close enough. That's money. Um, and then take. Tim takes us on the interior for a, a look at the finished product and you know it's easy to see that it's I don't want to say utilitarian but it's cheap I mean it's not cheap it's inexpensive and the intent is to make it durable so if I open this up I'll pull one of these screws out of this hinge and there are usually three or four usually four, but there's two closest to the inside of the house, there's two closest to the outside. I want to pull one of these closest to the outside because I want to make sure that I hit the framing. So the screws I use, these galvanized deck screws, they're about the right size, and this will, this will bite real good into that framing. It's the wrong size. I need that back. Honestly, um, the screws I had, the head of them are a little bit too small. I like them a lot, but sometimes the head isn't big enough and it goes right through the hinge and that's what happens. So I will use the one that they give me. These are look like they're stainless steel, um, but they're hard to drive into the wood. When I screw this in, It takes, you gotta hold your mouth just right to get these to go. Please hold The deleted scene. To listen to the painter just a little bit they put some red paint on this ADU um, you know we have a motto uh, do your best and call for the rest that's what uh, painters are in charge of uh, so I'm gonna put these two uh, you know this is a square butt joint whatever you want to call it it's some really good exterior sealant okay with that applied on there I can go to gush mode and I'll squish it down here until that starts Squishing out. Might as well make this wall C. I'll draw a big C on it with an arrow. And a big C on the oops, floor with an arrow. That's why I have a pocket full of pencils. You will notice me trotting. That is not, uh, not so bad. Sometimes you have trot. It's not good to have the trots, but you get the trots. Again, a pocket full of pencils.
rats. Here's a bunch of sawdust sacks. Oh, Phil. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is I struggled to get the back side of this tape off. It's two side. It's it's got sticky obviously and you pull the backing off and then you can stick it um, is that on these windows comes a bunch of information and I was telling Tim that I recommend keeping that information um, uh oh so you don't want to get that on there. here's the information show anybody that I was down on my knees. Uh, it's been a long time ago. If you're on your knees, you're going too slow. <laughs> <laughs> my boss, my first boss, she's always says, like, off your knees. <laughs> yeah, off your knees. And it's true. But I just don't, I'm not as flexible. Hey, Jim, I think there's a, I need some more of these small nails when you get a Okay. So one Paulism, uh, that I wasn't able to catch Paul on camera is he talks about uh, his icrometer. Using the icrometer is a quick way to see if something is straight or level. Uh, he just says, you just need to use your icrometer. You know, I'm, I'm using my icrometer to, to look down the line or whatever. So I, that's one of the, the cool ones about Paul is, is the icrometer.